Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Doris, if you're new to the channel, I hope that you're doing great. In today's episode, I would like to share my knowledge with you about condition called not contained. Let's say a specific field does not contain a value. As we all know, if you're using flows, you can add field contains this value or field starts with this value. But sometimes we want to use does not contain and it, it doesn't exist there. Uh, in the drop down, but there's still a way how to apply this to the logic of the condition. And I'm going to share this in today's episode. As always, I will be sharing one of my Salesforce playgrounds and I have opened here an account and it is again University of Arizona. And I will not be overthinking about any specific fields or values or what I want this flow to create afterwards. I just want to show you how to add this new condition to the flow. I will select the field type. And um, if it meets my condition, I would like to update the ownership. And I have here on this on the another tab, uh, I have my setup and flows. Now I will need to go and create a new flow. And it will be a very simple flow, nothing too overcomplicated. Uh, it will, I will select a record triggered flow. I will click create. And now I will select my account object. Uh, if I go and select account, select record is created or updated because I want to test it later and uh, maybe it will not create with the first go what I want. So anyways, I will go with the record is created or updated. And now the condition requirement that I want to test, I will select all conditions are met. Let me check again my account. Now I'll just focus on type and then later it will be the ownership. So the type field here in the operator values, you have a drop down with equals, does not equal, starts with, ends with, contains, is null, is changed. And uh, sometimes there is a there are cases when we want to use an operator does not contain or instead of starts with, does not start with. And um, so the, this operator doesn't really work for me. I can go with contains and then later amend this contains operator. Now I need to put a value as well. And if I, let's say, use the, this type, if this type does not contain value called other, then I want to change the ownership to something else. And now I will go back. So I will put contains other. And I want this, oh, no. I want to set a specific logic condition and here in the condition logic I can select not. Here if you hover over the condition logic you will see use parentheses and or and not to customize the logic. For example if you enter one and two and three and then or four, that's the that's the most common used one that we always use and and or in the in the custom condition. However, this not part, if you can see, there is also a not part, and you can apply this as well in your condition. Then you will get the opposite of um, any of these values. Let's say starts with does not start with, ends with does not end with. And um, I will just select done. Now I will update a record. I will update the same record and I will call it update. If I go back ownership, I just want to update the ownership. Uh, I can use the same record that triggered the flow and now I will just add the ownership to private let's say it will be private and again this is just for the purpose of the video I don't really care that much about the update ownership or update record action but the most important thing is to focus on that condition custom condition that I created right here save this and then activate it. And now it is active. 
And if I go back to my record, I'll just click cancel. I'm going to refresh the page. And now if I want to go and select the type and maybe even, even without changing anything, I will just save the record. And let's see, the ownership has changed to private. So it worked exactly as I expected it to work because my type field does not contain other. And if it doesn't contain other, I wanted to change the ownership to private. And I know this is a very simple flow. It's not making any huge impact in this org, but I just wanted to check this logic condition. And uh, it, it worked even here. I could have just debugged it with the click of a button right here. And I could select run immediately and uh, run flow in rollback mode. So it wouldn't apply any changes, but would just test it in the background. And uh, I can use exactly the same account, University of Arizona. And as I didn't change anything in this account, my type field will stay the same and then I can run it and it will show again completed. And then you can see here on the side how the condition started, what were the requirements. The type customer direct contains other advanced logic is not. So it should be that the type customer direct does not contain other. That's true. So it followed to the next step to this action update ownership. And then you can see that it has updated uh, it has updated the ownership to private and that's the end of the flow. So this was a very quick video on how to update the condition in your flow to not adding not in front of it. And um, maybe you have already heard about this condition and are actively applying in your org. But if you're new to Salesforce administration and you're still learning about tiny little things here and there, then I'm sure that you found this video useful. Thanks a lot for getting this far in the video and I will see you next time. Take care.